Hi friends, welcome back to the part 9 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will be creating the remaining two resources that we will require in the in this project. So the first one will be my category resource and the other one will be the auth resource. So let's quickly go back to our terminal and type nest generate uh, resource and the name of the resource is category so i'll choose the type of resource as uh, rest api it uh, generate crud entry points yes so it's done so i forgot to use the no no spec uh, flag that's why i got these two spec files i'll simply remove it from here the next time i generate the auth auth resource so i'll use hash hash or uh, dash dash no dash spec this will exclude the spec files now i have the auth here and you see i don't have the spec files which is good so now let's quickly work on the uh entities in my category entity here that is under the entities folder let me minimize this terminal i don't need it anymore i'll simply first go and decorate this as entity and this should be imported from the type orm package as you can see on the top and we have to give it a name i'll name it categories so this is the name that will appear in my database that's that's the name of my table okay as usual the first parameter is id and that should be the primary generated column imported from type orm and the other fields will be my columns first one is the title of the category and the next one can be a, des a description okay that's it and the other property that i require will be a relation with my posts so we'll create that in the next video i'll simply finish the other remaining items like the dto so again my dto would also require a title for the category and a description description this could be optional yes i'll make it optional later on and since my update category is extending from my create category TTO, I don't have to do anything else here. We'll close this, this, and let's also close the post controller and everything. But even after doing this, it won't create. If I save, save the file and see my terminal, uh, I have no errors. But if, if I check my database, and you'll notice one thing that i still don't have the categories table here the reason is because i am not telling type orm to use this entity anywhere so let's quickly do that use the category module and we'll use the imports array here and if you remember what we did with our post entity we used the type orm module for feature and simply supplied the entity here that's my category okay imported from source entities category entity source category entities and I'm sorry so now if you save and let it compile and go back to your database hit refresh we'll have the categories present there okay although it's empty right now but you have the data the table present there Let's quickly do a similar thing with our auth here. So for auth, uh, since it's related with users, okay, so by default it will have the auth entity. Let me uh, rename this to user entity, okay. This is auth, I'll, change it to user 
uh, without the entity word here and i'll decorate this as entity using the decorator and the name will be users okay, so user will again have an id that's my primary generated column should have a first name of type string column we have a last name type string we have email type string we have a password of type string a profile pic i'm providing all the options here so the user will again have a relation with the post because the posts will be tied to a particular user id and later on this user will also have a uh, roles uh, roles property okay but as of now these are the only properties that i would want to see in the table so save the changes Okay, but still you, you won't see the user table there because it's not hooked up with type ORM. So I'll go to my auth module, use the imports array here, and use the type ORM for feature and give it the user entity. So now if I save the changes, let it recompile and check my database. I have my users table there with no data in it and i have all the columns here okay for categories we have title description so let's quickly finish the uh, dto part here create auth dto so that will be my create user dto because i'm gonna register the user create user dto it also renamed my file here which is okay and i expect to see a first name last name email and the password so the profile pic can also come but that will be optional i'll make it optional so we'll see how we can make things optional in the dto using a, a library known as class validator okay so we'll check that in the next video so uh so this particular video is almost done and we have finished the video part the entities and we have also created the tables so with this i would end this video now and we'll see you in the next video where we will be working on the class validator package and we'll install the package use some validation and we'll also work on the relations so till then if you have any suggestions any feedback please feel free to put that in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends so i will be meeting you in the next video till then stay safe and happy learning bye bye